Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day of the video, Darren. How's it going today? Today we're heading off to work. It's cold. <sighs> Can see a lot of cars with their windows frosted and frozen over. Um, but yeah, <sighs> it's a nice morning. I am walking with a limp because I'm wearing in my shoes still, which have blistered me on Monday, god damn it, but I didn't think they did anymore because they didn't hurt me. My other shoes didn't hurt me yesterday. God damn it. So <laughs> I'm walking with a limp. I've got plasters, I'll put them on when I get to work. Um, I just look like a donut until then. Otherwise though, I've been sleeping really badly recently. Like I don't get to sleep until really, really late. I get to bed at midnight, get to sleep at about one, half one. And then, because I've been up so late, well no, in the middle of the night I'm like tossing and turning all the time. Waking up at God knows what hour. I was up at like half past four for a bit last night. Um, and then my alarms go off and I just because I haven't slept properly up until that point it's really hard to get up and I don't know what the, what's going on <laughs> don't know what's going on with me um, otherwise though um, yeah got ready heading off out to work now um, hopefully get there for quarter past although I'm not sure this limp is what is that smell slowing me down quite considerably unfortunately um, ah flipping heck <laughs> um Yeah, so hopefully we can get up to work for about quarter past, which means if I leave, well, I'm, I'm aiming to get 1.25 hours down today so that I don't have to do any tomorrow or the day after because um, I'm a lazy, lazy man. Um, but otherwise, though, work today, we should be signing off, finishing off the last of our tests, signing off our project, which is going to be good, which means we can move on to planning some other stuff, which means as well, when I come home, I'm also going to be doing some planning. Um, I need to plan in this new project, Project Wheatbase. Um, and I also need to, like, re-judge up, judge, judge up my board. Um, I'm thinking of taking the blog off of there. Because there's hardly any tasks in there. My blog isn't really something I plan for. You know what I mean? I just kind of do it. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you know, I've got a blog I might write. And I'll just write it. And I haven't written one in a while. So I think it's just taking up too much space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Project Wheatbase there. Um, put YouTube towards the top. Like still um, create some new cards. Even YouTube itself, like being how I do a video nearly every week now. Even the YouTube one is a little bit too quick. It's like a weird scenario where like things are changing too quickly on the YouTube one. But everything else is changing relatively too slow. Like, I'm going to have a look at um, rewording some of the tasks and stuff on the things down below to make sure that they're still accurate to what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I thought a bit of planning and then I can start moving things based on a more accurate representation of what I'm actually going to be doing in the first place. And that's naturally because I've started doing stuff but haven't been able to move things. So yeah, I need to re reevaluate what the tasks are and if they may be a little bit too big to be tasks and they should be shortened down because when I wrote it, I wrote it with the mindset of like how I write it at work. Obviously at work, I'm there all day. But I've only got like two hours to complete a task most days when I'm actually working on it. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, I am home. Uh, just got in, put my eating on again because it's cold. Bloody hell, this room chills down. I think it's something to do with the windows aren't very airtight. That's a word I think I'm going to go with. Um, so I think they get a bit drafty. And also, I think they, um, they're just thin in the first place. Uh, but before I talk about work, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm talking about upgrades. This channel will be an upgraded, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, and I guess most importantly, my camera battery has arrived today, which is another battery for you. Um, and not that, not one, but I've actually bought another one as well. I just haven't taken out its packaging yet. I need to put these on charge uh, to make sure they're fully charged and stuff. But there they go, look, into charger, <sighs> charging away. Now what these camera, these camera batteries are ever so slightly bigger than you are. They're about 20 uh, milliamps bigger, which is negligible. But the biggest, the biggest thing that's going to be noticeable about them is, <laughs> I was getting confused then because I could smell the oven on, and the oven's on, that's why. Um, <laughs> 
the biggest thing about them is that now, because they're new, this has been used, this battery that I'm currently using right now has been used for, what, about a year and a half, daily, every single day, being charged like once every, either once a day or once every two days at the very least. So this camera battery is battered. So these slightly bigger ones, bear in mind there's two of them as well, mean that I should be able to get at least two to three days of, it, of footage out of them, like actual filming footage, I'll be able to get two or three vlogs worth, which is what, like 40? On average, you get about an hour of video footage out of one battery charge. That's what it should translate to, which I'm super excited about. And the fact that I've got two means that I can have one in and then one fully charged and like in my wallet or something, I don't know, so that it's easily accessible, ready to rock and roll. If I ever go traveling and stuff, I'll be able to put it in my bag. Um, obviously, nine times out of ten, I'll just have the spare one fully charged, ready to rock and roll um, here. But then when I go out traveling and stuff, I will be able to put the other one in my bag and then just pop it out, ready to rock and roll. <laughs> so if I've got, let's say, and to be fair, this will be one hell of a day, if we go over... In fact, the only time that I will ever need the backup battery on the same day, I would probably need a backup memory card as well, because um, I've only got 16 gigs. And I'm assuming that if I, it would take a battery to fill that 16 gig, I would guess. I don't know, but these batteries could be a lot better than that. Anyway, what I'm saying is we've got a new battery. Second upgrade though to this channel, less important, a bit behind the scenes. If you go to my channel now, it's called Jamie Ped Vlogs instead of, it's the vlog student. Um, it technically it's called both, but it redirects to um, Jeroped Vlogs, which is awesome, absolutely awesome. I'm waiting for um, the approval to do it with the main channel as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. So that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty happy about that, even though it means absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> Hey-ho. Otherwise though, what's been going on today? I'm back. Now, from work, here I am, hello. Today we made a few changes, a bit of refactoring to the thing that we'd have been working on, the postal service thing. Um, and while we've been working on that, we've been, um, we made like a couple of changes to the way that it was doing stuff. Um, we're using now uh, DTOs instead of domain objects, minor things. But there was a couple of like little, little things that we noticed that doing that changed, so we had to make a couple of changes to the code and stuff. But then we were unleashed upon the planning stages of our first, um, of our next thing, um, which is a conversion, a mapper basically, a mapper service. Um, and it looks going to be quite difficult. It sounds quite simple at its heart, and it's very hard. It's a very simple program that just converts this one thing into this thing. Simple. But it's going to be a pain in the balls because. The, like the thing itself that it's converting it into doesn't exist yet. The thing that it's going to be calling, uh, that we're going to be sending the converted thing into, doesn't quite exist yet. All we've got is the old stuff that he's converting. It's going to be a bit of a mess. Also, uh, my the person I'm working with, Ben, is only here for another week. Then he's on holiday. I'm only here for another week and a half. So it's, it's getting crazy. Um, we've got a proper planning session tomorrow. I've got a planning session tonight, obviously, with my board needs readjusting and all that stuff, but I am going to have my dinner, make my sandwiches, play a bit of Hearthstone. The new Hearthstone expansion cards have been announced and I am so excited. I think I'm about to lay an egg. have to wait till next week though until it unleashes properly onto the world. All we can do is look at the cards and think about all the possibilities. Ah, oh, so excited. Um, but yeah. Anyway, life. I am, like I say, just a, tonight. I was I've got a hair on my face. That's, that is one of Laura's hairs, that is. Where did that come from? Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I've got planning and stuff to do tonight. Um, I, we were going to go play some snooker tonight. We planned it like two or three weeks ago. Um, but I forgot, uh, he forgot, he messaged me today, and he's busy and I'm busy. Um, and to be fair, I was kind of banking on a nice, quiet night in again <laughs> the problem, i've got to like work myself up for that kind of stuff i've already had one spontaneous night and then tomorrow night we're also gonna go to uh cribs after work um with team jam go check that out which will be fun come on northern i'm hungry but yeah i'm in now i'm gonna chill play some hearthstone make my sandwiches and then i'm gonna jump into planning after 
after this. Ready? Right then, ladies and gentlemen, dinner is down. Um, and I am just about finished. Since I got here on Sunday, I have killed a fly a night now. One singular fly every single night. And it just appears. It just like appears out of nowhere. Like I'll be washing up and it just flies in front of me. Like are you coming through the windows or are you already in here? Are there some of you watching me right now? I don't know. And that terrifies me. The problem is, if some flies got in here and thought, oh, this is a nice warm place to make eggs and shit, then what am I supposed to do about that? And I don't know. I don't know where these flies are coming from. It boggles my mind. So the plan of attack for this project, right, what we're going to do is we're going to shift YouTube. We're going to update all of the things for it. So that's number one on my list things to do. I need to bump you up a bit, YouTube, because some of the other things need more space. Blitz planning, stuff like that needs more space, mate. <laughs> this line in the middle here was so that I could fold it and um, put it in my drawer. Um, right, okay. Let's take all this down. Let's make sure I know what I want to do in my head, and then let's put it back up. Oh, bloody hell, that's hard work. <laughs> Jesus, I've lost the world to live. I had to tail off towards the end. I've got to Project Stockholm and I've readjusted how I'm going to be doing it recently. Um, the original idea for Project Stockholm was very ambitious, but it was never going to be pulled off. It was a little bit too complicated, a little bit too expensive to make, I guess. And it was way too long term. It wasn't agile in any way, shape or form, which is not the way I don't do things in a non-agile way anymore. Actually. So... I've been readjusting it, trying to figure out the best way of doing it, and I got to it last because it's on the bottom of my thing here. And by the time I reached it, I'm just like, ugh, I'm sick of this now. And I'm trying to think of a decent plan for it, of like how to best go about it, and I just can't. So the board is looking very left lob stand lob lopsided now. There it is. It's <laughs> we could just basically chop off this. Look, we looks less good from a vlogging perspective as well now, I guess. God damn. But there isn't much we can do about that. So what I've been doing then is I've figured out uh, on the top row here we've got YouTube and I actually do have blog stuff. The bottom three are all blog stuff. I have uh, the next video I'm going to be making is in the in progress thing, getting ready to rock and roll. Um, I've then got video, 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 blog posts. Um, I then have Project Wheatbase, which is going to be um, the main priority, hence why it's here. Hello. Um, and we have um, some researching to do, some setting up to do, and then I can start creating things. It's actually, like, these are quite high level tasks, but it's not bad, not bad at all. Web dev is obviously sitting here next. It's a little bit adjusted, but not entirely too much. Specifically, the Blitz software one has changed a little bit because it's now got to replicate the way that Jeremy Pedd is now designed. Um, then I've got the project planning board, which is actually, I've actually started this now, so I can actually create some stuff for it, and I've got some new tasks and some new design plans and stuff like that, and then I've got Project Stockholm, which is going along a much different tact. Um, there's a lot of technologies running on in this board. Obviously there's YouTube, which has got nothing to do with uh, YouTube and my blog, which have nothing to do with technologies and stuff like that, but Project Wheatbase is going to be using things like, uh, it's going to be using a MySQL server, it's going to be using WCFs, C Sharp, ASP.NET, MVCs, and all that kind of good stuff. My websites are going to be using, um, well, eventually MySQL databases and a bit of uh, Ruby, I believe, um, but at the moment just PHP and obviously HTML and stuff like that, JavaScript and all that McGubbins in this chunk here. This chunk here, Blitz Software, uh, Project Blitz Planning, even. God damn it. Um, that is going to be using uh, Java, mainly. Um, Ba yeah, basically it's going to be using Java, I've decided that's the way I'm going to go with it. Um, I was planning on doing something else with it, but Java seems to me the best way. It's also going to be linking up with a MySQL database, <laughs> because all of these are basically running off a database, uh, which Project Wheatbase has got the, like... While I will be having a... Basically, there's two sets of databases that are going to be created. There's going to be one for Project Wheatbase, which is going to be a Windows-hosted thing. Um, and one for 
Yeah, Project Wheatbase's database is going to be all managed through uh, Windows. It's going to be on a Windows server, and it's going to be on a proper server system with IIS and everything. Um, for my stuff, it's going to be all hosted on my Pi, and when my Pi gets a bit too overrun, um, it'll be posted. It'll be hosted on Linux servers and stuff like that, up until the point where I might upgrade to a Visual Studio server as well. Um, and then I don't know how best to run Project Stockholm. I believe it's going to be in a desktop application. I don't know how best to make that application. I kind of want to go down the C-sharp route, but everything I'm doing seems to be in C-sharp at the moment, which isn't great. It isn't great at all. Um, could even roll some prologue into that, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> I love me a bit of prologue. So yeah, there's lots of technologies diving around on this board. I've just got to figure out what the best one is for the bottom one, and that's got a little bit more setup to do on it as well. Um, I also need to get Visual Studio on my laptop, because I don't currently have it. Well, that's all for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. What I am going to do now is I am going to end this video. It's 10 to 10. Um, this planning, <laughs> I've literally been planning all this out, and it feels like I'm at work tomorrow, because the first half of work tomorrow, I'm going to be doing this again. Um, so, <laughs> so, lots of planning to do. Um, I've been doing lots of planning. It's lots of fun, but I'm now exhausted after a day of work and a day of <laughs> evening of this. So, I'm going to end this video here, get it rendered, get it online, Got to try and train myself to press the button a little bit slower than I'm used to because this fucking camera. Um, <laughs> and I need to be able to. What am I going to be doing? Yeah, I'm going to get this all done and theoretically I'm going to be finished by 11 o'clock, which means I'm going to watch Breaking Bad in bed. Breaking Bad! Because I need to um, get to sleep better, but I need to sleep more because I'm not sleeping very well. So if I can get finish everything early, watch Breaking Bad and then go to sleep after that, then I win a life for the simple reason that um, <laughs> that I'm not sleeping through the night, so I have to change my bedtime and go to bed a little bit earlier, like a big baby. Also, we're running out now of these cards, of yellow cards. We've gone through a lot of yellow cards. <laughs> well, we're not running out fast, but look, we've got these here. Look, we've only got that many left and this many. On top of that so I think after this I'm going to then go to alternate and I'm going to do like the top one green the top one blue oh uh, well I'm gonna go green blue um, when I next rejudge this board basically I'll go like uh, green blue pink and then have yellow on the far left that's probably what I'll do just to make it look a little bit more interesting a little bit yes yeah left yellow and make the cards go spread further <laughs> right then ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching this video tomorrow we're going to try out our new battery and we're going to see it's fully charged we're going to see how long it can last us see if it can beat this which is now dead even though it's fully charged oh no actually this has made two days it's made yesterday's video and today's video and it's now on a flashing red light so that's our judge can that battery outlast the length of the video that this has made we will find out won't we and i We'll catch you later.